Mm, I'm so glad you decided to drive in with me this morning, honey. Me too. And your coffee is excellent. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'll pass your compliment along to the chef. <laughs> Listen, I'm really glad we're able to spend this extra time together. Me too, honey. What are your plans for the rest of the morning? Well, let's see. I have to stop by the Roswell Agency and see about those Peter Heard prints that mm -hmm. the gallery has an option on. And I've got a couple of other odds and ends that I have to take care of, too. Would you uh, like to come back for an early lunch? I'd love to. But I don't think I have time. Oh. No, I've got to stop by the hospital and see Dad. Oh. Well, that's more important anyway. How is Elliot, honey? He's, uh... Better than expected under the circumstances. I'm sure Stryker sees to it that he gets the best of care, Dennis. Well, there's no complaints medically. But it's ridiculous to expect a man to react to treatment after, after he's practically under lock and key Darling, here. No, no, Paige, he's, he's practically cut off from the world. And he, <laughs> outside of the guard, the only other person he's seen is me. Must be very difficult. Yeah, it's worse than difficult. Especially after all he's been through. And if there's... If there's anything that can be changed about it, I'm sure going to do it. Excuse me. I do so hate to interrupt a man when he's concentrating, but I wondered if I might have just a moment of your time. Of course. You're Ashley, right? That's right. Ashley Linden. And you're in PR, right? Oh, now, that's very flattering, a busy man like you, to remember things like that. Tell me, uh, what can I do for you? Well, I do so hope that I haven't violated office protocol or anything, but Carrie had stepped away from her desk, and I did so want to talk to you before you got away. Sure. Here I am. Yes. Um, well, it's about Terry's job. I understand she's leaving, and I'd like to be considered for her position. to see that you can read, Billy Joe. Hey, uh, yeah, I'm sorry about that. Hey, man, what have you been? I've been waiting for you almost an hour. I've been with the captain. Been trying to sell him on this little plan of yours. Unlike you, Mr. Wright, I cannot operate on my own. I've got to follow police procedures. Yeah, I know all about that. What'd the captain say? Well, he said you better have your information straight because he gave us the go-ahead. <laughs> <laughs> huh. You ain't gonna be sorry. Mm-hmm. Well, I better not be, because I'm responsible. And if anything goes wrong, this whole department is going to wipe that smug look off your face in about ten seconds. You know, wait a minute. I laid this all out for you the other day. It's going to work. It's a sure thing. Well, I hope so. I like being a detective. My feet ain't up to walk in a beat again. Your feet ain't got nothing to worry about, because this plan can't miss. Trust me. Yeah, hello, Farley. This is Donovan. Send them in. You know, I know what it is you're so uptight about there, Donovan. Yeah? Uh -huh. Why? You can't stand the thought of Billy Joe Wright being smarter than your whole department. <laughs> yeah, you're so smart you got sent to Huntsville for three years. Now, that's what I call real smart. And that was all before, man. I was just a kid. Yeah, but you don't look so grown up to me. Well, I am. I'm a legitimate businessman with legitimate business interests. And you cops had better start treating me like that, too. Come on in. Ladies, I'd like you to meet our informant, Billy Joe Wright. Hey, Donovan! Man, what is this, man? I told you they had to be fresh. The boss told me they had very specific. You wanted them fresh and young and eager. There just ain't no way this crew's gonna look eager. Uh, well, no, no offense, ladies. Just calm down, Wright. Everything's gonna be fine. Man, I'm telling you, there's just no chance this plan will work. Not now. Not with them. Wright, will you just cool down? got to talk confidential. I, I'm sorry, ladies. I, I, there's been a real big misunderstanding here, you know. <laughs> there 
Ain't no way the Bray's gonna hire them girls, man. Well, did you look at them? I know what they look like. Well, Bernie ain't gonna even hire them to wait tables. He ain't sure ain't gonna hire them for a movie. I thought you had an imagination. Oh, I do. Right now, I'm imagining what Bernie's gonna say when I walk in the chicken coop with them three Sunday school oh, teachers. Come on, I think those ladies are gonna be just fine. The boss told me he wanted some real sexy chicks. We're coming up real short in that department. Detective Donovan, if we're not wanted here, there's plenty of other work for us to do. Now, 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 everybody just relax. Uh, hey, hey, I'm sorry, ladies, but you're just wrong for this uh, job. Mr. No. Wright, I would like you to meet a policewoman, Elizabeth Simpson, policewoman Mary Browning, and policewoman Patsy Collins. The Collins is with Homicide, and Browning and Simpson are with Vice. What is this, Donovan? Man, I told you I didn't want nobody's been around. No one that Mr. Shaw might recognize. Donovan, who is this hillbilly, huh? The captain said we could trust okay, you with this Okay, just settle down. Okay, Donovan, what's the story? The story is that Mr. Wright has been engaged to recruit talent for Mr. Shaw's latest porno movie. Now, being a perfect, upstanding citizen, Mr. Wright has figured out a way to help us put Mr. Shaw out of business. Oh, boy, I can just imagine the plan he's figured well, out. Now, if Mr. Shaw hires the three of you to work in the film, and if we can collar him in the studio while the movie's being shot, and then we have a chance to put him away for a long time. We did have a shot. When's this raid going down? Tonight. Boy, Donovan, you're cutting it real close. Yeah, we can't set our own schedule, Liz. According to Mr. Wright, Chris Shaw is going to be in that studio this tomorrow morning at 1.30, so we've got to move then. And we better get ourselves hired. Uh, if Mr. Wright will make the introductions. When the whistle blows, we're going to have three expert witnesses right there on the inside. Where the action is. I doubt it, ladies. I really doubt it. Thank you.